The Joy Behar Show, every night, 10 Eastern, on HLN. The downside of being outspoken is sometimes you get in trouble. I can relate because I've gotten into trouble over my career also. Uh, Congratulations. You know, yes. And it's, thank you. I mean, you know, when you have a big mouth, you're going to get in trouble. And my mother used to say, good luck with your mouth. But that's called freedom. It's called freedom of speech, and I use it every but, day. And you pay the price. You pay the price. Okay. And you did pay the price. Okay. So, <laughs> like those Israel remarks that you made, and I want people to see what it is we're talking about. So let's watch. Any comments on Israel? We're asking everybody today. Any comments Tell them to get the hell out of Palestine. Ooh. <laughs> Any better comments? <laughs> <laughs> Remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land. It's not German. It's not Poland. So where should they go? What should they do? They go home. Where's the home? Poland. So the Jews. Germany. You think Jews go back to Poland and Germany? And and America and everywhere else. So when you look at that. When I watched that and when I saw it in the first place, <clears throat> I thought to myself that that is an insensitive remark, that Poland and Germany are the exact places that the Jews were put into concentration camps, and that at the very, very we least... We fought World War II. I had two brothers, many yeah, relatives. Right. There hasn't been a persecution since that, since World War II. You don't take other people's land. But so so, but do you see the insensitivity of the remark that? No, I, them, I didn't realize it would ring that many uh, bells because they've been free ever since. I know, but Germany and Poland. You didn't pick. You didn't pick. You know, Alaska. You picked Germany I and Poland. I should have said Russia too. Well, Russia had its uh, its share of anti-Semitic pogroms, also. But they you, also had twenty-five million who died in World War Two. That's true. But I'm trying to... More than that. Yeah. So, I mean, Germany, Poland, you know, Dachau, Auschwitz, we're talking and about... And the United States. Mm -hmm. And the United States what? I said they were... He said, where should they go? Mm -hmm. I mean, they didn't have to go anywhere, really, because they weren't being persecuted anymore, but they were taking other people's land. The, you're talking about the Israelis? Of course. Uh -huh. Do you consider yourself anti-Semitic? Hell no. You do not? I'm a Semite. You're a Semite yourself? Your background. Oh, I know your Lebanese background, mm -hmm. right? But you're not Jewish. <laughs> well, what does that mean? Well, no, you say you're. I'm just trying to clarify. They're not Semites. I mean, they're, most of them are from Europe. Mm -hmm. The Jews. Yes. Well, okay, but I'm trying to see if you had a chance to redo the comment. What would you say now? Why do they have to go anywhere? They're not being persecuted anywhere. The Israelis. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why do the, they have the to Jews, go anywhere? The Jews. Well, the said, question was, any comments on Israel? That's what the question was. And you said, tell them to get the hell out of Palestine. Right. And then the it, rabbi who was interviewing you said, um, any better comments? And you said, remember, these people are occupied, and it's their land, not Germany's, not Poland. So where should they go, he said. What should they do? And you said, why go home. Why do they have to go anywhere? They aren't being persecuted. They don't have the right to take other people's land. Under international law, mm -hmm. occupied land should not be annexed. But then maybe you should have said, I'm not putting words in your mouth, but maybe you should have said, well, they really, the Israelis should stay in Israel. That you, but you said they should go back to Poland and Germany. That's what got you in trouble, Helen. He, no, he said, where should they go? Yeah. Well, I, maybe it did get me in trouble. Everything is distorted, but oh. I don't care, you know. You don't care at this at, point? No. At hell, no. Okay. All right. Well, you got a lot of criticism for it. How did you deal with all of that criticism? We have organized lobbyists in favor of Israel. You can't open your mouth. I can call the President of the United States anything in the book. But if you say one thing about Israel and you're off limits. Well, that's what happened to you. I mean, yeah. the Society of Professional Journalists retired the Helen Thomas Lifetime Achievement Award. Mm -hmm. They said no individual worthy of such honor should have to face this controversy. No honoree should have to decide if the possible backlash is worth being recognized for his or her contribution to journalism. Are you offended by that? By what? The fact that they will not give this, um, this award to anybody in your name? Well, I mean, that's their decision, but I think it's stupid. It has nothing to do with my views about Israel. Mm -hmm. My achievements in journalism are a little separate. Mm -hmm. So you have no regrets about what you said, even though they... You... I have regrets that everybody's misinterpreted it uh -huh. and distorted it. 
and you have the airy Fletcher and Abe Foxman distorting everything. So I should have, I certainly knew that, and I should have kept my mouth shut, probably. So, but you, okay. So, but you still don't feel that it was insensitive in any way? No. No. I'm, in, I'm sensitive about the Palestinians being pushed around, knocked on the door at 3 o'clock in the morning, get out of this house in 24 hours, three generations in, in refugee camps, mm -hmm. okay. pushed from their homes. I see. But you see the other side of it. The other side of it is that the Jews are sensitive because of the history that they have well, in the 20th century. Well, everybody's sensitive when they're being pushed out of their homes. Well, but the 20th century was particularly cruel to the Jewish population. Yes, it was. In, and Europe, I, we, in when, Germany and My Poland. family went through World War II. I, we were very sensitive. All of us were there. Every American was there. <clears throat> but did your family go to a concentration camp? No. 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 Well, that's the difference. That's the point. The difference is that count how many thousands of Palestinians are in jail now, thrown from their homes, a million refugees. Mm -hmm. Is that sensitive? Everybody's got sensitivity points here. Right, you're Isn't right. It?